you know. Hey John, did, did Alfred make it? <laughs> Tell him no, he's Cuban. <laughs> Alfred is here. Roger. <laughs> we'll, we'll use we'll go use sixty three. All right, go. guys. That, and that Roger, is that okay, is Courtney, Courtney guys, which is, which is the owner of the company, right? Yes, sir. So so I met Courtney. Don't do, keep on doing what you need to do. Don't oh, worry good, about me. Good. Don't worry about you. We're, don't have to look at me. We're just hanging out right yeah. now. So so I met Courtney because I did a video on a vandal yacht. Okay. Cool. So so I was actually there and I saw them on the side of the boat ramp. I was like, hey, I've been dying to do a right, video. He's right. like, well, come tomorrow. You got, <laughs> you got to be there at 7 a.m. That's so, awesome. So yeah, and here we are, guys. That's here awesome. we are. Hey, for the record, how much does a guy scrubbing the decks make? Maybe, times are tough, guys. <laughs> Can I get the weekends off? No weekends off? Absolutely not. <laughs> what about holidays? No, we work these too. Well, Courtney, I love you, man, but <laughs> I'd rather be on the yacht. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm out of here. Oh, boy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Come on, man. Oh, man what are you doing? Boy. I'm sorry, man. I'm coming from Color Bay, dude. I didn't know that <laughs> traffic was going to be crazy. Guys, welcome. I've been dying to do the New River Tug Series. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited, guys. Can you guys introduce yourselves? What's your name? John. We got John here, and you're gonna be on which, which tug? I'll be on the bow tug. On the bow tug, and your name is? I'm Ozzy, I'll be back here on the stern. I think I'm gonna be here with you then. Awesome. Um, what are we gonna do? What jobs are we gonna do today, gentlemen? Uh, we're gonna go pull a uh, yacht out of the slip and bring him into the haul out well. Okay. We're gonna go up and get a 130 Westport and bring him down there. Cool. All right, guys, don't don't stop me. I'm gonna be filming. I'm gonna stay out of your lines, and uh, no, wait for it, guys. Wow, this is gonna be awesome. So excited, guys! I've been excited to do this video for a long, long time. And if you watch my videos on the New River, you see these guys pulling all these amazing yachts. I'm gonna show them how they do their job. Wow, this is this has been a long time coming for me, gentlemen. And if you guys recall, I've done some videos on the Miami River showing how the Miami River guys work uh, with the cargo ships. So I would encourage you to check out a series that I have. It's a playlist called the Tug Series on my channel. If I'm in the way anywhere, don't worry. No, if I good. fall in the water, don't worry. <laughs> it's fine. We'll leave you behind. L listen, as long as the camera doesn't get wet, that's what matters, guys. Oh, man, that's awesome. All right, guys. So, and like I said, this this is um, John and Ozzy. Okay, so the first the first job that we're going to do is a, is a haul out. So, what? so I, it sounds like something's coming out of a slip and going into a haul out. This is uh, Odyssey. Um, so it's, it's a pretty decent one. Um, you'll see it when we decent get Decent when you mean size-wise. Yeah, size-wise, it's it's definitely, forget the size, it's like 150 or 160, somewhere around there. But- um, That's yeah, a big boat. Yeah, she's she's a big boat. Sometimes sometimes these yachts, you know, will we'll, we'll come up here and um, all they need is us to stand by. So they'll pull out of the slip and go in on their own. Sometimes it's dead ship. So today could be a dead ship maneuver or it could be we're just standing by. I guess you know we, we usually find out when we get there. You know, John will ask them if they have you know, Ozzie, what they you, have running. You're gonna have to tell us some of these terms for for little kids that are watching for that sure, don't know. For sure. Okay, so when you say dead ship, what are we talking about? Dead ship means that there's nothing operational on it. So you know, it's it's all on us to to get them into the into the into the well, basically, not not operational. So uh, now, okay, so. I just heard them on, on the radio. So obviously you guys can't see, you can't see what's in front of that yacht that right. we're gonna be pulling. So right. there's a lot of communication that's happening. 100%. So, so he's your eyes essentially. 100%. So, so he's, he's right now, we're pulling up to it. It's the, the white one, the, bow, the, the white bow right here next to the gray little tender. So this maneuver is gonna be, he's gonna be coming out of here and he's gonna be going into that into that slip right there. That's that's where they pull them out to do yard work. Put them out in the dry dock. <clears throat> Guys, this is something that we've been wanting to do for a long time. And um, it's, it's 
definitely very interesting. Now this is this is like an everyday thing, right? Uh, yeah, this is just the normal normal thing for us. You know, um, we do yard moves. Uh, you know. Hey John, did, did Alfred make it? <laughs> Tell him no, he's Cuban. <laughs> Alfred is here. Roger. <laughs> we'll, we'll, use, we'll go use 63. All right, go. guys. That, and that Roger, is, that okay, is Courtney, Courtney, guys, which is, which is the owner of the company, right? Yes, sir. So so I met Courtney. Don't, keep on doing what you need to do. Don't oh, worry good, about me. Good. Don't worry about it. You we're, don't have to look at me. We're just hanging out right yeah. now. So, so I met Courtney because I did a video on a Vandal yacht. Okay. Cool. So, so I was actually there and I saw them on the side of the boat ramp. I was like, hey, I've been dying to do a right, video. He's right. like, well, come tomorrow. You got, <laughs> you got to be there at 7 a.m. That's so, awesome. So, yeah, and here we are, guys. That's here awesome. we are. And, guys, I'll tell you, this has been an, this is going to be an exciting video for me. Very excited so how to long, have you. Yeah, so how long has Cape Ann been um, in, in yeah, business doing this around. on the New River? Uh, Cape Ann's been in business, I believe, since 1978. Yeah, 78, um, dude, yeah, that, so I, was, long time. I was one. Right, very long time. And uh, Courtney's worked for this company for, well, he worked for the company and then he ended up, I think in 2003, he, he bought out the company, but he's a, he's a heck of a guy and a heck of a captain, man. He, he can he can run a boat in circles, no problem. He's he's a good, good, good boat driver. So how long have you been doing this, Ozzy? Um, I've been with Cape Ann Towing uh, since August of 2020. Um, before this, I, I was a uh, captain on the Jungle Queen. It's a tour boat here in Fort Lauderdale. Which I film a lot on the yeah, New River. Yeah, I, I did that for, I ran that boat for eight years and decided I wanted to do something a little different. And, you know, Courtney, Courtney gave me a shot and I couldn't say no, man. And just like you, you know, I'd, this see, is cool. I'd see these tugs going up and down the river and I'd, I was jealous, man. I wanted to do that. And, this is you know, cool. I always looked up to these guys and it's an honor to, to, be, to be one of those guys now, you know. So. All right, so while, while John is getting everything situated, what's right. happening on his end? What's, what's he doing right now? So he's, he's probably just talking to the captain, you know, running the game plan, seeing, seeing what, what, what the plan is, what he's got for engines, uh, what he doesn't have, and, uh, you know, just basically running the game plan with him. And, you know, once, once that game plan is set, uh, we also have to wait for, their, you know, LMC, which is the, the yard, you know, all the, the dock guys, dock hands to come out. And sometimes they'll, they'll walk the lines out because obviously, if, if it's coming out dead ship, John can pull them out and we have control of the bow, but you know, there's no control on the stern until the, until the boat gets out. So the dock hands will, you know, basically walk the, walk the boat out with the lines. And then once it's far enough out, I can get my line up and, and have control. What's, what, what's typical day for you guys? How many, how many jobs per se would you guys have on a typical day? It could, it's just, it's just kind of all over the place. I mean, just, just like anything else, you know, these yachts, I mean, they go out and they come in as they please. So, you know, it's sometimes, sometimes we have only one job a day. Sometimes we have 14 jobs, you know, it just all depends. So for a lot of the boat show, you guys were, I, I mean, I oh, saw yeah. you guys working like, yeah, we, like you didn't stop. We, we run 14 hour days uh, during the boat show. It's, it's one after another. And you know, it, it, it's definitely all these yachts going out just to, to get out to the VMR. Okay. So we're gonna we're gonna go in through some very tight areas today right right and and what what is kind of like the known like oh man this is a little this is kind of like when your right. first time on right, the tug right. on your own which was your spot that you're right like, damn it i would say like uh there's a section in between davy boulevard and 7th avenue uh it's called the wiggles or it's known as the wiggles and that that, that could be a pretty tight tight area to maneuver around uh with the with these big ones now after a while you get used to it and just you just kind of do it, but but yeah, it, it, it can get a little tight in there. Well, you know, there's a captain in uh, the Miami River called uh, Captain Morgan. Right, and We're right. not talking about the one you drink. Right, right. <laughs> he, he, Morgan actually invited me on Miami, uh, to the Miami River, right. on Miami River towing. Right, right. And I actually met him on the side here working for Lauderdale, and he's in this area as well. Right, right. And uh, we did a night nice video, incredible difference. Right, right. right. Now, I remember in that video, he had to kind of like rub up on, on a dead ship, right, literally. Right, right, right. Because his his thing was, I'd rather rub up on a dead ship right. as opposed to that nice shiny fiberglass. Right, right. Right? Because over there, and I'm sure we'll have our own challenges and right. things over here, 
there's there's scenarios that you got to pick the right. best oh yeah, yeah situation yeah. yeah for sure for sure uh I, that's that's the one thing with these i mean there's not much room for error here you know because a little scratch on that fiberglass is very expensive so um <laughs> We do our best not to touch anything, and it's very, it's very rare for us to touch anything. Because, like I said, you know, these are multi-million-dollar yachts, and these owners are relying on us to get them out scratch-free. You know, that's why they hire us. So, we're pretty, uh, pretty big on, you know, trying to keep these yachts pristine when they come out. Oh, okay, let me let, t tell me a little bit of, uh, about about these lines, right? Right. So, so. There's John. John is already getting the game plan. He's coming back. And so, now, what, what did you ask about? So the lines? Uh, about the lines. So tell me. So, so I, what I've noticed is you guys run shorter lines, and, yeah. and we're gonna be we're gonna be uh, tailing in reverse. Right. Right. Yeah. Right. So, okay. Let me get out of the way because I, I want <laughs> you guys not to get. <laughs> no, I'll get. I'll get. You're fine. <laughs> I you're just fine. don't want, I don't want to obstruct your visibility in any way. You're fine, you're fine. Um, no, I mean, we run, you know, our, our lines, um, you know, basically not too short, but, you know, short enough where we have, we're able to get angles and control and, and uh, you know, it, it allows us to maneuver a little easier. Um, when you have really long lines, like if they're way too long, it, it takes a little bit of time to come around with it, but. All right. Side, side switched, about 620, so the up's not too strong. He's fully operational, he's going to come out on his own, we're going to stand by. He's going to bring his bow to the east. We're going to have to back up a little bit. He's going to drive in, we're going to stand by, port side, east side. And just uh, keep him off the wall, no lines up. Sounds like a plan. All right, so... I know there's another crew, Courtney, Good morning, and, Paige. <laughs> and who's the other the crew member? Uh, Courtney Chris. and Chris. Chris. Yep, yep. So they work together. You guys work together, or, or does it fluctuate? It fluctuates. You know, sometimes I like work with Courtney. Today. Sometimes, sometimes uh, John will work with uh, Chris, um, and I'll work with Courtney sometimes. But for the most part, John and I, you know, work work a lot together, and they work a lot together as well. So. Copy that. Okay, so tell me a little bit about these tugs, Ozzy. What, 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 what? Is this like a custom tug or? So, so these are custom. These are uh, 26 foot dusky uh, sport fish holes. Believe it or not. Really? They're duskies. Wow, yeah, that is design. so cool. Yeah, and they're they're just decked over. Um, like I said, they're duskies. They're they're as you can see, they're nice yeah, and no wide. Yeah, no problem. We just he heard the uh, marine <laughs> fire up, so he was uh, he was just starting up. So he's gonna need a couple minutes anyway. Roger. <laughs> so yeah, it's just a wide, nice wide hole, and um, you know, Courtney, Courtney tried a lot of stuff out, and th th these these holes seem to work really well for this. You know, they 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 maneuver well, um, they tow well, they get towed backwards well, and you know, it's it just works for for what we do. Okay, so 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 where is the how does this work? Like, like the, uh, on the underside of the tug. What, right. What, 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 what system is there? Right. So, so you got twin John Deere's on this one. Okay. Um, basically, big giant shafts and big props, just low geared. So you know, not a lot of speed, but a lot of power and torque, which is basically what you need to move these things around. So where are the props at? Where are they at? Um, in the stern of the boat? Yeah, they're in the stern. They're probably right where that wooden hatch is. Maybe pretty much right aligned with that, or maybe just a little. Two, little two of them. It. Yeah, twins. Big twin engines. Big, big props. Uh, I believe I can't remember the size of them. Um, hey, John. No, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. We'll, yeah, we'll, yeah. we'll find that out later. Right, we got right. we got plenty of time. Yeah, yeah. For this. Yeah, they're, they're they're oversized for this size boat for sure. Uh, they're they're oversized. I like I said, I can't remember. I think they're around 30, 30 inches, I believe, something something like that. What's harder, the tail tug or the pull tug? Um, well, you always start off on the tail. So um, I'm I'm the newest guy here, believe it or not. So um, I've done a little bit of bow jobs, but you know the bow requires a little bit more experience. Um, you know, really, when, you would think it's opposite. Oh yeah, yeah. 
No, on the bow, on the bow, you you know you have to run certain lines, um, you know, and that way you can set up the stern tug, you know, to run the right, you know, the run. It's almost like yeah, dancing, yeah, yeah. right? What one hundred percent? You somebody has 100%. to lead, and then you just follow the lead. Ex exactly, oh, and that that's, that makes sense. That's basically that's basically what it is here. You know, the the bow tug has a lot of control, and the stern tug we're we're just here to assist, and you know. Our biggest thing is when we come around turns, if you think about these lines, if I'm slack on my lines and that valve took's coming around and I'm not giving him anything to work against, these lines slack off. And what happens is when he comes out on an angle, when he's up on the valve, yeah. his line will get up on paint. And on these yachts, he can't do that because if you get up on the paint, you burn the paint, you'll ruin it. So basically my job is to give him enough power to work against where he can get an angle, keeping his line stretched out, mm -hmm allowing the bow to come around without getting on the paint, you know? So that that's basically my job back here. Just give him enough where he needs and, you know, not slow up the tow. Cause obviously if I use too much power, then, then I'm slowing the whole thing down and almost bringing us to a stop. So you just kind of got to fluctuate and use the right amount of power and, you know, know when to start your turns. But, but yeah, you start back here, you start back here on the tail and you work your way up to the bow. I don't know if this is a job for me. I mean, guys, <laughs> oh, you got it. This, we need somebody here, man. Guys, this is my first day. We need day. somebody here. This is my first day. <laughs> um, listen, maybe we should start off with like an eight, eight or nine foot rigid inflatable <laughs> for me. Just, just. That'll work. That'll listen, work. Listen, you gotta start somewhere, guys. You gotta start somewhere, man. You gotta start somewhere. <laughs> All right. So typically, uh, right now, I know. There's the monkey fist that they throw. Right, right. From, uh, and explain that, like how, how are their lines gonna be, you know, right. tied up now and how's that happening? So so the good thing about the way that, you know, what, well, how we do things is you can you can see on the bow tug, he's he's the one that has, a, you see there's uh, heaving lines okay. connected to his tow lines and there's a ball on the end of it. So basically they'll, hook, they'll pass a hook out, he'll throw his ball up there and then they'll pull up the heaving line until they get the tow line up there. But, um, but, and on the stern, I mean, you'll see when we move into the stern, most sterns, you know, they, they have a platform on the back, so they, they just come up and grab the line. It's not a big deal. You guys are primarily working with the captains, right? Oh, uh, yeah, 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 for the of, most part. Of, of, yeah, of, yeah. of the vessel you're working right, with. Right, 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 right. So, so today, I mean, not to say it's an easy day, but this, this boat's not dead ship, and it sounds like he's gonna be coming out on his own and going in on his own. So literally all we're gonna be there is is to assist. You know, okay. if, if he needs a little push one way or another, John or I will stand by. Uh, tide's ebbing right now, so it's going out. Uh, so we'll probably most likely, both of us will be sitting on the east side as he comes out, just to hold him up into the tide. Is once that bow gets out here, it's gonna wanna fall. And uh, you know, sometimes the thrusters are strong enough where they can hold themselves up. And then sometimes we're just there to just hold them up in a straight line until they get out all the way. All right, guys, well, we're gonna wait for these guys to come out. We're gonna start this video and we got a big Westport that we're gonna take down the new, uh, the new river. Yep, 130 Westport, it's gonna be coming out right after this job. Wait for it. Okay, we run. All right, guys, they're gonna start. They're dropping lines. Ozzy's on the starboard way station. I'm gonna try to show as much as possible here on what's going on. She's coming out on her own power right now. That's so cool, dude. At about seven feet on this side. Want to stay out of the way. The two and a half defenders from the tenders. Roger. He's got it all in place. Roger. Dude, what a responsibility. There's no way in a million years. Oh my goodness, look at this beast. Right now, the captain is driving the boat. You see that? You hear the, the bow rudder? The bow thruster, my bad.
Okay, so those mates are communicating what's going on, on the, to the captain of the vessel. And you have John on the other side of the boat. See, he, he just told them that you're clear. This is, this is the entire captain. John at this point is not doing anything, right? No, we're, we're just standing by. I, I, don't, I don't know if he held them up, he might have. But um, yeah, he's, we're, he's just doing the same thing I'm doing, just kind of hanging out in case he needs a push. That is, this is amazing, guys. All right, so this huge yacht is gonna be removed and on that travel net. So what's going on right now? So he, he's just driving himself in and uh, as you can see, he backed up a little bit just so he can squeeze his bow in there. Like I said, tide's ebbing. So the, the tide's helping him come around now. And like I said, we're just here to basically, if, if, if he needs to be held up into the tide, we can hold him up. So he's not gonna need any help on his stern right now? Not right now. Right now, right now we want it to fall a little bit, but you know, like I said, I'm, I'm I'll, in a second here, I'll start moving into position and you know, basically just just watching it. I, I, I'm not gonna get on it unless he actually needs me. But um, but yeah, we just watch it. Like I said, tide's ebbing, but as you can see, it's not very moving very fast right now. Go, so. go do what you gotta do, Ozzy. I don't want to talk to these guys. I'm stressed out, guys. I said I'm <laughs> I'm super stressed. This this is not even the hard part of the video. You know the responsibility of, of scratching that boat? This, this, this captain has not much room to work with either. Look, look at where he's at right here. How's the wind affect any of this? Oh, it affects it. Luckily, there's no, doesn't seem like there's a lot of wind today, but yeah, when there's wind out here, it's <laughs> makes it fun for sure. Yeah, we've had a lot of wind the last couple oh, of weeks. Oh yeah, yeah. During the boat show, it was it was real fun. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Your fun and my fun are completely different. Oh yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. 
All right. You got them uh, communicating there on their end. The the bow of the boat is already almost at the haul out. And John is starting yeah, okay. to get in position. She's starting to hit me. I'm, I'm still completely fine, but she's kicking it. Good copy. We're getting ready to catch the stern. Just said we're getting ready to catch this time. We're on the first slowing that start swing. Roger, slowing it up. We're just slowing the swing down, Chris. Look what John's doing. John's pulling, pull, pulling the, pushing the bow. Wow, this is so wild, dude. I didn't expect to do this, guys. This this might be the most interesting part of the video. Okay, guys, this is going to be 20 to come. Yeah, we're going to let it come easy. Anything. Just be ready to catch it if it picks up again. Ready. True professionals here on Cape Ann, guys. All right, go ahead and get on it. Kind of slowly walk into it. Right. He's up with a ball. He's enough. Looking real good, Chris. That is so crazy, dude. Roger, coming up. All right, take a look at the other side. John just says he's got it, so he's gonna work the rest of it. He got two feet on this side, one foot to fenders. John, I'm totally stressed out, dude. I'm totally stressed out. No, 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 no. Listen, I don't think we're gonna be able to do the other part. <laughs> what do you mean this is the easy one? This is easy, you're gonna do anything. <laughs> this is nothing? This is nothing. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, wait for the second part. All right, now we're gonna go pick up a Westport? Yep, now we're gonna head up the river and get that 130 Westport. All right, guys. Um, will we see them pulling this out at some point, maybe? Uh, possibly, depending on how long they take to, to start pulling it out. We're gonna be about probably you know, 20, 20, 25 minutes up the river to get the Westport, and then another 20, 25 minutes back. So in an hour, depending on where they are, they might be out of the water or just starting to pull her out. So yeah, you might see that. Fort Lauderdale Marine Center, guys. Look at this. If you have your yacht, I mean, look yeah. at a massive, massive, massive yacht. Marina. Yeah, they're going to take this out, guys. That's incredible. Um, all right, well, we're going to go ahead and get to the Westport. I'm stressed out, dude. <laughs> I'm, I might tell Courtney, I'm, 
I'm gonna rescind that application, dude. Oh no, man, we need you. We no. need you. No, listen, this, <laughs> this. Thanks, K fans. Yeah, listen, listen, smooth. Oh, good job, Chris. Crew did an excellent job as well. When you get it, uh, when you get all secured. I'll meet you on the back here. Sure, I'll hit down. So that was the captain speaking? Yeah, that's the captain. Actually, I've left my wallet in my car, so give me a sec for that to jump off. Hey Chris, I'll just email it to you. Uh, captain at yachtodyssey.com? Yes. All right, no problem. I'll just email it to you. Take care of it whenever you get a chance. Good job. Thank you very much. And uh, I'm with your paint job. We'll see you in a couple months, buddy. Oh, so yeah, they, thank you. They're, they're gonna paint the boat. So, sounds like they're getting a paint job. Oh, nice. Hook them up. Right with John. Light tug. All right. What's going on now? Who knows? I think they're gonna tow each other, guys. That's what's gonna happen now. All right. Have a seat. Dude. <laughs> Watch that tow line. Yeah, yeah. be careful. Wow. Absolutely. So impressed. <laughs> I was impressed with you guys, with the captain, with the, the, the people on the boat informing. Every, everybody was communicating. Right, like, right. It was incredible. All right, so. I, I should have a heart rate monitor, guys. I'm telling you. <laughs> there, there should be like a little screen that, that has a heart rate uh, out for cam. All right, so you guys right now are pulling each other because you're trying to conserve some fuel, right? Is that is that the idea? No. What's the story? Well, why are you guys pulling one tug and, and, and what's the story with that? Take a break. Take a break yeah. so you guys can chit chat. <laughs> but in, 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 in a way, you are conserving some fuel too, right? Because is that tug still on? That tug is still on. Those, the stern tugs sip fuel anyway. They don't really go through much fuel, but it's more or less just to kind of take a break and relax a little bit. <laughs> this is the break. I love this. This is the break. Well, listen, get in there. I'm going to show there. Guys, I'm going to stay away from these lines. Okay, so this is kind of like the chill moment. Yeah. And then now you, when you get to, to the other location, how far is, is the, the west port that we're going to pick up? How far is it from here? 20 minutes. 15, 20 minutes yeah. 15, 20 minute. Guys, I'm not going to put them through that. I want them to see. Listen, what I want to do is I want to bring them down with my little dinghy and do a video of all these yachts one day. Right, right. And um, But I'm going to get over there to Westport. What marina are we going to go to now? Westport. Okay, yeah, so yeah. it's oh the actual, but it's a Westport boat as well, right? A yacht. Yeah, yeah, Westport yacht. Okay. So it's, it's actually uh, Westport owns a small yard. It's, it's their uh, service and warranty center. Wow, so they have their own exclusive warranty yeah. and service center here in Fort Lauderdale. Yeah. That, that, most, that sounds like service to me. <laughs> yeah, most of the, 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 the thing about Fort Lauderdale is there's no other place in the world like it. Yeah. The collection of all the, the shipyards and uh, repair facilities and manufacturers all in one kind of, you know, small area. So when Westports, a lot of the Westports are built, you know, a lot of them, a lot of the yachts come over to the Caribbean and whatnot, get it out of the Caribbean, so they have a yard here. Yeah. They actually put the, the yachts on a ship over in Westport, uh, Washington, that's where they're built. Mm -hmm. And they come around and then we offload them, bring them up to their facility this is awesome guys well listen up i'm gonna go to the bow don't worry about me you guys do what you normally do have your coffee my heart rate's gone down my monitor guys my heart rate monitor is down a little bit um absolutely crazy to say the least and any crab today all right guys we got a local uh crab guy and if you guys have not seen, I've done some crab uh, videos with some commercial guys. Um, and we've caught stone crab and we've also caught um, lobster. Look at this, man. This thing is beautiful, guys. Absolutely beautiful. 
what? Look at these, look at these. Now these guys will work all of these boats. And what I want you guys to see is how tight some of these pass-throughs are. Like uh, this is 95 right here. So right now we're gonna be going under I-95. Hey, I will say it again, guys. It helps the channel when you guys smash that like button. And you have a whole playlist on tugboats on my channel. So if you're enjoying this content, I would encourage you to take a look at that as well. We got a nice little ride. I'm going to turn off the camera. Um, I'll let you guys go see what's under here. Maybe something interesting happens. Wow. Man, this is just incredible, dude. Look at all these yachts. Now all those boats that you guys saw on uh, the Fort Lauderdale Boat Show, if you, if you attended, and all these amazing yachts, they didn't just dock themselves, okay? Cape Ann and other local companies um, would do a service like that. Oh, I ended up going to West Green. So, um, it's cool stuff. All right, well, I'm gonna get a, oh, look at this. Oh no, wait a second, guys. Oh, let me tell you something. We, we've got a lot of exploring to do on this channel. Let me get uh, back there. Let's see what these guys got going on. And um, yeah. Show you this marina real, real quick to your right. For those that watch my channel with um, a series that I uh, have called the Chit Show, which is essentially the opposite of, of this series, right? Here, when you have uh, these tugboat guys, they know how to dock and do everything. The Chit Show is basically me uh, at a boat ramp close to my house called Black Point Marina. And uh, it's, it's extremely funny. It's a, it's a very funny series that I do. And basically showing everybody's mistakes at the boat ramp which is completely, like I said, different from this. So much kudos to Courtney and his team for, for letting me uh, <laughs> film on their boat, you know? Because everybody knows, oh boy, Alfred's on there. Let's see what happens, you know? But I love telling these stories so young people can see all these jobs that are available in the future. All right, guys, let me go ahead, talk to these guys. How cool is this, dude? Is, is this the boat that we're going to be moving out, the, the pipe dream? This is it. Sounds like they're going to come off on their own. They're going to spin around, get it facing out the river, and uh, we'll get in and get hooked up. Awesome. How big is this West, uh, Westport? This is a, a 130 Westport. Um, they, these are pretty common. Uh, we, we tow a lot of these. Um, I, I don't know. I, I like them a lot. They're, they're my personal favorite yacht out here. I, I think think they look awesome okay but so so how how big what's the biggest uh they can go through the new river um i think uh i wasn't here for it i think this company did uh 200 and i don't um, over 200 yeah it's over 200 it was a palmer johnson um i believe that's the biggest they've done here i biggest i've done was a 185 uh 185 called vita um, but so this is a 130 so you know just imagine 185 you know you add another that's crazy yeah, yeah, yeah. all right guys so we're here um, stick with us we're gonna go ahead and see this is awesome how everybody just works together All right, John is over there getting his lines ready because he's going to be pulling. This Westport is, is an amazing looking yacht. Um, beautiful, guys. And if you guys like uh, seeing these yachts navigate and go through the, my, uh, the new river, you know, check out the series on my 
a playlist called New River Boats that I have on my channel. It's cool, very, very interesting. For me, this is, this is absolutely wild. Alright guys, so let me show you what's happening here. Let me get out of out of his way so we can show exactly how and what he's doing. As Good you see. How you guys doing? Good, how you doing? Good, good. Go ahead and get you guys hooked up. Can you guys do me a favor and just remove uh, just the other two outside rails? Once you're set up, no rush. Outside rails. Oh, there you go. Thank you, guys. We're ready to work. We're ready to work. Okay. So that ship is on because I, I, we I definitely got some exhaust hitting the boat. Right. Yeah, so sometimes they shut them down. Sometimes they leave them running. It doesn't usually bother me, you know, like, right, boy, exhaust usually you. goes out the sides. Okay. Every once in a while, if it's That's too good. bad, they'll shut them down, but. All right, here we go. Just, Roger, just, awesome. just didn't expect that. Just didn't expect that. Um, I'm high, guys. I'm high. If I fall into the water, no, I'm just kidding. I'm, I'm not high. Hey, look, I didn't expect that though. All right. So John now is your eyes the whole time. So John's, John's taking the lead, and I'm just following his lead and. You know, basically giving him what he needs when when he needs it. Pretty much it. So, you know, being on the stern tug back here, one of the most important things is when we're going down a straightaway, is keeping the tug straight. You know, because if I if I let it go, she wants to sit over, and these tugs have keels. And if I let it sit over, not straight behind the yacht, what I'll do is I'll I'll become a rudder and make the stern fall one way or the other. So by me, you know, just kind of keeping myself straight back here allows the whole tow to, you know, tow straight down the river and not, you know, crab down. So we take, we're gonna take them to where? To the ICW? To the ICW. You just saw a, a, a yacht there coming a little bit towards the mangroves. You gave him a heads up because it's a shallower area. Yeah, yeah, he almost ran aground. <laughs> so, so you need to know where you have some danger zones. Oh yeah, all the all, time. All this right by the mangroves here. It's all shallow over there. That's why we hug hug this side over here. It's very shallow over there on the south side. So this little stretch here, we don't really have to do much. It's all pretty much a giant straightaway. Once we get down to Rolly up here, then then we'll probably you know clutch in and give John a little help. Copy that. We got over here. Show you guys. 
what's going on. And basically his view. Guys, I just did a video in the boat show of that boat. Lecker, and um, if you look at my channel, I just did a walkthrough of that boat. It's, it's awesome how you can just see some of the boats that you see at the show sometimes. How do things change when you have a lot of people on the river and it's busy summer? A lot of it does do, do they make your job a lot harder? Yes, yeah, yes. Yeah, sometimes. I mean, we we kind of we have a lot of control, so you know anything just gets hairy we just kind of stop up and let them kind of figure it out but it's it, it it gets a little tougher but usually if they're on the radio or something we'll call ahead and we'll make passing or john will make passing arrangements up on the bow so it, it's it's you know just part of the job it's part of the job part of the job i did notice that when i did the video with uh greg from henson right Rain, right right i mean we we had some people who were just just trying to i mean like these guys are pulling cargo ships right 100 and they're just trying to squeeze through just to you know <laughs> yeah it happens here it happens here that's for sure there, there's got to be tugboat etiquette oh yeah yeah it, you know most people Sorry, you're to stop. God, you're most people are pretty good um but then you have the you know the new guys that don't know and We always try to be understanding and you know we we know that that that's out here and we just work around it that's that's all you can do so john just asked you to come to a stop yeah we came to a stop that that boat that passed us earlier is backing up into roly which is a marina up here so we're just kind of waiting for him to back up and get clear of the river so we can keep coming ahead and guys this is some of the homes here in Fort Lauderdale, one of many, right? Beautiful, beautiful homes in this area. So, oh, you know, off camera, we were talking about, because I was asking you, and, and uh, John said that, you know, you had a, a huge reputation, a good reputation uh, <laughs> on the Jungle Queen. Right. Uh, and and you ran that for, you said, eight years earlier? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, All right, come on, clutch on to your shirt back. Roger, clutch on to your shirt back. Um, yeah, I ran the Jungle Queen for, for, for eight years. I started there as a deckhand, and it's funny, because I grew up around boats. I love the water. Um, I just, you know, I never thought I'd, make this a career and I was I was in school and they were hiring a captain over there at JQ and I had just gotten my license and I figured I'd give it a shot and I ended up here now so but can't complain man this is my office you know this is awesome guys and 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 John and John what he said you know you you said that you've learned a lot from John oh right? yeah 100%, and, and he's 100%. taught you a lot and one of the things that John said is somebody taught him yeah yeah 100% and, and that's the beauty of of people teaching people, right? 100%, man. 100%. That you have mentors along the way. 100%. And, and hopefully this video inspires young people absolutely. in the future like yourself. You started as a mate. Yeah, absolutely. That's, that's all I started as. 
That's awesome. That was man. it, man. Started as a meet and ended up out here, and I love it, man. Like I said, this is a beautiful office. It doesn't get better than this. <laughs> All right, well, I'm still stressed out, so <laughs> stop, <laughs> stop trying to win me over, dude. It's not going to happen. Uh, <laughs> come on, man. This, this will be my last day. Oh, no. Guys, no, we need way, to, way too stressful for me. Look how he's turning. He's turning right now. He's turning. Guys. Ooh, oh boy. All right, I just got my first turn. And guys, here's what I'm doing. I'm holding on for dear life to make sure that we can show you how this is done. So that was my first turn. That was it. That was the first one. <laughs> Is not, there, not terrible. Is, is it a ritual now? Do I have to, you know? <laughs> You're in. Come on. <laughs> All I'll, right. I'll start video. So, okay, so is there going to be an, an area where you have to use a lot of thrust uh, <laughs> to make a hard turn? Not uh, necessarily. Or that's about as, as hard as it's going to get? Th that's about as hard as we get. You know, we, we, try, to, we try to go easy on, on our machinery and stuff. So, you know, you really don't need a lot of power. You use what you need. And, no, that's pretty much it. Little Florida is another tight turn. You know, me and John will be working against each other on that one. And there's a couple other turns, but you know, like I said, we're, we're just here to assist. The valve tug has a lot of control. He, he can come around pretty good. Like you can see, he's turning us right now. I'll, all I'm, I'm just clutched in, giving him straight back and kind of giving him something to work against to keep our lines tight, you know, so he doesn't get up on the paint. But yeah, this is, we're just here to assist and you know, Valtug has a lot of control. Alright, guys. Okay. On the bigger ones, we'll work a little more. Um, on the bigger ones? On the bigger ones, we'll work a little more. Yeah, we're steady, but it's not like it was. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah, we had a pretty busy day on Monday. Today's a pretty busy day, but, uh, you know, it's kind of normal. This is the boat that you used to work, one of the boats. Yeah, that's one of the boats I used to work for. The, uh, that's their little island dock. And they, they do a little barbecue. They do like like a little show and a barbecue. It's a nice little island. It's set up pretty cool over there. And so a lot of tourists that come to Fort Lauderdale they'll come to the Jungle Queen. Oh yeah, 100%, 100%. Did somebody said that there's alligators in there? Yeah. Uh, Back when I was there, they, they used to do alligator shows. I'm not sure if they do that anymore, but uh, but yeah, they, they used to have you know the Seminole Indians over there, and they, they do alligator shows. It was really cool, man. And they go they go down the New River to where? Where do they uh, normally go? They, they their home dock is BMR, where the boat show happened. Really? Yeah, yeah. They they sit on on a dock over there at the BMR. And uh, yeah, that's where they run out of. And they, and they go, where do they go? Because listen, uh, my audience could actually do a tour like that. Right, well, 100%. Yeah, um, the, the Jungle Queen does come up the river. So, you know, if, 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 if you want to come out and, you know, see these yachts and, you know, the, the easiest way is probably, you know, the Jungle Queen or any of the other tour boats out here in Fort Lauderdale. Absolutely awesome, guys. All right, we're getting here. This is 95, right? Yeah, this is 95 up here. Now this from 95 to to uh, where we normally film, how long is it gonna be? Uh, just just uh, maybe a little less or just about an hour or so, I'd say. From here, it's about an hour. About an hour, yeah. Wow, guys, this is gonna be a lot of work. Just about an hour. Look at that, dude, that's a lot of work, guys. Absolutely crazy to say the least. And here we have the other marinas. And imagine guys, this is like like this is his office. You know, you're seeing these amazing yachts 
and boats. Is that drawbridge always up or? For the most part, they, they, the, the only time they come down is, is if uh, there's a train coming. Uh, but other than that, they're, they're up. Uh, this is CSX. And then the other one that we'll go through today is um, FEC, which okay. is in downtown. Downtown uh, over there on the New River? We're on the New River, yeah. That's going to get pretty, guys. That's when this yeah. video is going to get interesting. Yeah, downtown is downtown's a beautiful, beautiful area, man. Yeah. Should get very, very pretty um, over here, guys. this tug is doing so cool so there's about maybe two feet of clearance up there maybe a little bit more yeah I'd say like like 10 <laughs> from the very top oh yeah oh is, is it really yeah so yeah. it doesn't look that no, it, it looks it, like it's closer than what it no, is yeah it's not that close oh, okay so so I'm assuming your tides is really important based on what boat you're moving. Yeah, yeah, tide, tides are pretty important for us. Um, not necessarily on, you know, the bridges. Most, most of the yachts that come past 95, uh, you know, they're, they're, they're designed to fit under them. Um, and then the ones that don't fit, they just stay here at Lauderdale Marine Center. But, uh, you know, the tides are just important for, you know, the toes and, you know, obviously the draft of these yachts. but. You know, um, towing, believe it or not, towing with the tide, which is what we're doing right now, tide's heavy going out. Towing with the tide is a lot easier than towing against the tide. Really? So, so right now we're towing with the tide and, you know, it just helps everything flow a little better. Awesome, guys. Look at this. Look at this, guys. Look at this. guys uh, a top view shot up over here what's going on very tight guys beautiful yachts here guys beautiful yachts here and just seeing all this is it's pretty cool it's pretty surreal dude it really is More beautiful homes here as well on the river. Another turn, guys. Hold on.
turning. What marina is this? This is Lauderdale Marine Center. Oh. So now we'll see if uh, Odyssey is out of the water or not. All right, guys. So we're back to where we started the video. And imagine over here. I think they're just getting some touch ups. Uh, it doesn't look like she's out yet. I can see her still sitting in the slip. She's still sitting there? Yeah. It's fine. Um, I just thought it's kind of cool that they can, you know, they can see that, right? Oh, yeah. like, like this video has already gone, I wouldn't say full circle because we're not done. <laughs> <laughs> but but the fact that we already did what we did right. in the beginning. Right, right, And right. My, my whole goal is to kind of show the day that you guys right, have right, during right. the day. Right, right, right. Um, and there she is, guys. She's coming up on the lift. I, it's hard for me to know where I'm at because I'm not I'm not here uh, frequently enough. And this is where we started. Wow, that's so cool, dude. That's the first job right there. They'll pick her up soon and then haul her out and do maintenance. And it's so cool that we literally just did that. Those guys are what, cleaning the sides of the boat or working? Uh, they could be doing a million things. Sometimes they polish them, sometimes they're working on the anchors. So they'll just polish the anchors from there? Yeah, I mean, the holes or the anchor, you know, they, they <laughs> there's a million things they could be doing out there. There's so many beautiful yachts oh, in yeah. this marina. Lo lots of money in this marina, man. Yeah. Um, so this is another turn we got coming up here. This is uh, the stretch to Davy Boulevard. This is the one that you were saying is a little tricky. No, this one, this one's not horrible. It's just a 90 degree turn. Just, just, just a 90 degree. This is a 90 degree. Turn. Listen, I already quit. There's not, <laughs> there's no convincing. Oh, me. Come on, man. Guys, it's not gonna happen, guys. I'm not, I'm not gonna become a tug captain. Oh man. Yeah, we're tilting hardcore. Hardcore tilt. I'm literally hanging off. I'm not hanging off, but I'm holding on to the side, leaning, making sure that we're good. And uh, this is amazing, dude. Look at the tension on the on. Look at that. Now I'm starting to see some buildings there in the backdrop. Yeah, that's downtown back there. So downtown, we're getting close. Yep, yep. That's downtown. All right, you got another 20 minutes before we get down there. That yacht was in the movie Baywatch. That's that's also one of our customers. Starship. Yeah, Starship. And it, and it, it was in the in the Baywatch. Baywatch, yeah. Yeah. 
think it was in a couple other movies. I can't remember them off the top of my head, but that was, uh, yeah, that was, that was in a couple movies. That's so cool that you guys get to basically experience and meet all these people that, that work yeah. these amazing yachts. Yeah, it's awesome, man. So at the boat shows, you want you can jump on anything if you want to. Uh, I don't know about all that, but yeah, there, Why, there's some customers that know us that you know let, give us a little tour. How, how is the captain not gonna let you see inside? <laughs> yeah, I mean, absolutely. <laughs> Throw, throw their, <laughs> throw their uh, right. 100 million dollar yacht right. on another boat and see if they let you in. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I, I definitely gotta talk uh, to Courtney because you know this is a lot of trust that he has to put in on you guys, right? right? Like, right. I can imagine him from the beginning doing everything by himself. Right, right, right. With somebody that he trained. Yeah, for now, sure. Okay, now he sees, them, like he's watching this video like, saying, right. that's, that's that's my team. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. A, that's a cool feeling. Yeah, it's, it's an honor to work for him, man. It's 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 really cool, man. It's and, really cool. And he, he knows his stuff. Oh yeah, 100%, man. It's a little narrow up here. It's not horrible. Sometimes, sometimes when the tide's racing out, it can it can be pretty fun getting around a yacht that's up here. But yeah, it's it, it gets it gets uh starting to get narrower up here as we go. All right, I'm gonna get to the other side. So you just heard Courtney on the radio? Yeah, I heard him a couple minutes ago. He, he, he called for seventh. I'm not sure if he's inbound or outbound, but he, he he's out there with Chris right now. So Chris and him are actually on the other two tugs? Yeah, exactly. What's the name the of this set. tug? Uh, they just all have numbers. We're on tug number one. I believe this is the oldest tug in the company. This is what the, like one of the original Duskies. That's I believe. awesome. And we're here on Davey, guys. So we're coming to a stop, Davy Boulevard. Uh, sounds like they got some maintenance crews on it, so we're just waiting for them to open up for us. So there's a bridge. Yeah, there's a bridge up here. You know, sometimes people say, well, why don't you just cut the video, you know, like, right. my, my purpose is I want them to see and experience right, right. what you guys deal with on a daily, right, you know? Right, 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 right. So for me, that's important, right? So they can, they can see the real, real. For sure. All right, guys, we're here. We're getting here on Davy Boulevard. He's slow and steady right now. You see how he's... Slowly adjusting. Look, 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 look at his hands just adjusting. And if you see there, how much clearance he has. Very tight, very, very tight turn right here. Let's see if I can get you guys a top view so you guys can see what else is going on here. Maybe from the third and up, third and up. going open on the other toe like it's open. So nice and steady, nice, slow and steady, I'm seeing. Nice, slow and steady, that's how we roll. <laughs> so what, what channel are you guys communicating with 
with uh, these guys on? Not, not each other, but, but like the uh, bridges. So the bridges are all on channel nine out here. Ch um, channel and, nine. And you know, all the other yachts that are out here as well are usually monitoring. Who's nine. going up? Coming ahead. Copy that, let it go. Um, but yeah, usually tr uh, monitoring nine to, uh, you know, keep in contact. We make passing arrangements in wider areas. So once we get through Davie here, we'll be coming up on that area that, that I told you about. Well, first, first is going to be a little stretch. These condos called River Reach, and then after that, we'll, we'll be coming into the Wiggles, which is probably, I guess, the narrowest area that we, you know, that we go through. The One Wiggles. The Why do you guys areas. call it the Wiggles? Um, that's just the name it's had forever. I mean, um, everybody knows it out here as the Wiggles. It's just, it's like three or four zigzag turns, you know, one after another. I think somebody said at some point, when I went through that section, I got the wiggles. <laughs> and that's probably that's how it came about. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> All right, we just passed our first bridge, guys. And there you see where it says the number nine to call in. And there's also a phone number you can call in. here right on River Reach right now. So how fast are we going right now on the tug, uh, Ozzy? Probably four knots if I had to guess. Four knots? Yeah. This is, you know, maybe not even. I mean, like I said, you know, our, our goal is not to go fast. Our goal is to get the job done safely. So, you know, sometimes with the bigger ones, we'll go even slower, you know. It's just, just all about the feel, you know. But, yeah. Yeah, our, our goal is just get them out nice and safe. And, but four knots is probably our max speed out here, to be honest. If that. And he still he still has his, his uh, engine on, the, this particular Westport. Yeah. So if he wanted to, he can give you guys an order. Hey, I'm stopping or I have this scenario. Or, or does that happen or does it not happen? Um, sometimes they want to test stuff out, but... You know, when they're in tow particularly, we, we, we try to, you know, have them, you know, basically stay all stop, nothing nothing running, because any little engagement can, can definitely, you know, screw up the tow. Okay. Uh, this is this is one of those uh, tight areas that I was telling you about. All right, guys, here's a turn. It's got a nice big turn. Can't really hug this corner too much either because that's very shallow over there. This this corner here to, yeah, you, to right, your right? Right over here. Wow, dude, this is so wild. Look how close, guys. Look how close we are. That's the start of the turns that I was telling you about. The wiggles? Yep. This is the start? It, well, yeah, back there. Okay, so that was the very first part of the wiggles, guys. And let me show you guys what he means. Because you can could, could see it a little bit better here now at this angle. And if you see how, in this case, the bow of the boat is, is facing. But here's, here's, here's another turn. Uh, sounds like somebody's coming at us right now. 
Somebody's coming out to yeah, you guys? That's uh it's one of the local boats out here. They they do a lot of uh training and stuff. See if we can grab some other views, guys, here. Show you guys some different angles. Let me tell you something. This is pretty amazing, dude. Got a boat behind us. They're going to be behind us a good ways away. Oh, man. Look at this, guys. Got some other tugs here guys you got some other tugs here we see steel toe uh, steel towing over there on the river as well <laughs> they, they just said chicho <laughs> you know That's when I was awesome. at the boat show everybody was like Chit show, and I was like, you guys are a bunch of disrespectful people. <laughs> Everywhere I go, everybody calls me a chit show. That's hilarious, man. <laughs> it's so funny, guys. It's just an awesome series, guys. It's, it's more humorous than what we're doing now. I'm still stressed out here. Okay, are we past the Wiggles already? Yeah, yeah, we're past that We're now. past the Wiggles, guys. So now, now we're coming up on Little Florida, which is a tight turn here in a little bit. Little Florida, is that what yeah, you call it? Little Florida. guys you see downtown there we got another set of tugs coming this way as well and hopefully we're able to see Chris and Courtney also coming through working um, these guys are running on uh, tight schedules you know so here's another set of uh, tugs This is Little Florida? Yep, this is that tight turn I was talking about. I see, I see the turn right, right now. Right, right. Yeah, I, I can see it, guys. This is gonna be a, this is gonna be a big one. Look at this turn, dude. See that? Wow, that is so wild, dude. Oh my goodness, man. This is, hell no. There's no, there's no way, dude. You cannot pay me enough money. Courtney, I quit. Hell no, there's no way. This is way too much stress, guys. Look at the turn, dude. Look at this turn, guys. Look at this turn. Oh my goodness, dude. 
Oh boy, things just got real. There's, he's, you feel the weight of that already pulling the tug as well. So in that particular uh, turn, yep. Ozzy, John was also doing some turning as well, right? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. John, John's doing most of the turning on this one. Uh, with this boat, I, I don't really need to do a lot. It's just more of more of assisting him, you know? Just, he like right now, he's, he's doing most of the turning. I'm just kind of giving him a little lean and, you know, watching the turn as I go. Like right now, I can just give him something to work against straight back. And, he can finish up the turn on his own. The tide's kind of rolling out and catching that starboard quarter and, you know, kind of naturally pushing it around. So I, I really don't need to do much. All right, and guys, we're getting into downtown Fort Lauderdale. Um, I, I encourage you, if you come to Florida, you definitely have to stop in. And they can come, they can come now on the Jungle Queen, the Carrie B, yeah, everything. Yeah, Jungle Queen, Carrie B. Uh, Water taxi doesn't come up this far, but yeah, um, you know, like I said, it, it's a good way to see the city for sure. Yeah, guys. Well, we're gonna get in here. Let me go ahead and show some some more views real quick from you for you guys. Now the other bridge is coming up, right? Yeah, so, so we got 7th, uh, then the FEC Railroad Bridge, then Andrews, and then 3rd Avenue. And then after 3rd, it's, you know, it's all clear until the ICW, but yeah, those are our next uh, four bridges we got to go through. Got a barge over here with some spuds locked down. Thank you. Looks like they're making a dock. Buen día, eh, estamos llegando en como 20 minutos, un poquitico menos, ya estamos en downtown. All right guys, so I have uh, Daniel filming and I wanted to let him know that we're, we're already getting close to, because I want you to see the, the shot that you guys normally see us film when they're working. What boat ramp is this? This is Cooley's Landing, right off of 7th Avenue. We're just, uh, just south of Broward Boulevard. Wait for it, guys. Wait. Chicho version Cooley Landing. Wait for Where's it. Where's your coming in? Copy that.
everybody wants me to film the chit show somewhere else uh, <laughs> other than Black Point, and I'm like, right. Dude, I'm five minutes away. Yeah, yeah, you can't you can't complain about that. <laughs> and I, there's and a lot I, of action over there yeah, too. Yeah, there's a lot of action, guys. <laughs> if you don't see the, the chit show, you want to see that playlist, yep, guys. Yep. Trust me, after this video, you're gonna want to watch out. Chit show is coming. We'll see you later. You're welcome. Look how centered they have to be. To make sure everything is perfect. That is so wild, dude. So after 7th Avenue, we're pretty much now in, in downtown. After 7th? Yeah. This is like the Performing Arts Center up on the left and the Museum of Discovery and Science and all that stuff. And then obviously a lot of condos. This is actually where I filmed one day and I met Captain Morgan. Oh, really? <laughs> and I was here on the side, he pulled up, That's awesome. him and his son, and uh, it was really cool That's too. That's awesome. And Captain Morgan, guys, is the tug captain in the Miami River on Miami River Towing, and we did a night video with, uh, and are you guys doing anything at night or, or how's that? Uh, yeah, yeah, we do stuff at night. Um, it just, like, it all depends. Um, but yeah, yeah, we do we do stuff. Uh, we're, we're we're open 24 hours a day, seven days a week. So, so you guys get a call. Hey, listen, I need an emergency tow at three in the morning. You guys will yeah make we'll, it happen. We'll, most of the time, we'll make it happen. We'll be here. Wow. All right, guys. Well, Heizinga, obviously, uh, Wayne Heizinga was the owner of the Miami Dolphins and. He, he was uh, also the chairman of Blockbuster Video. And he's well known in Fort Lauderdale. Well, the late Wayne Heisinger. But yes, and we're going to be passing his house, which was his house, uh, in a little bit. So we got a nice turn here, guys. Getting interesting now. See all the work that they're doing here. And that's a uh, beautiful downtown uh, Fort Lauderdale. Like I said, you definitely want to come check out downtown Fort Lauderdale. It's, uh, it's beautiful, guys. Absolutely beautiful. Like new construction is going to be happening here too. A lot of buildings been going on, guys, over here in Florida. Got some nice reflection there. And this must be amazing at night uh, if you guys visit and come down. What is this right here? Is this a park? Uh, yeah, th there's some like old museums. The oldest schoolhouse in Fort Lauderdale is back there. Uh, I think they call them the historical Bryan homes. But just just like a like a little park. Uh, nice. They do first Sunday of every month a uh, uh, jazz brunch festival. Lots of people come out, and hang out. This is the FBC Railroad Bridge. And this one is active or no? Yeah, yeah, they're, yeah. they're both active. They're, they're both, both active, active yeah. Look there is a webcam here, somewhere. Yeah, it's over by the Pirate, uh, just just west of the Pirate Republic back there. I've seen, I've seen that one. Yeah, yep. This is beautiful, guys. Getting a huge reflection off of that sun. New 
construction also out of there. So when you see this video at some point, you're gonna say, "Hey, that was my that was where I used to live." Uh, YouTube guys, it's timeless. Pretty cool. So we're slowing down right now. What's going on? Uh, Andrews Avenue Bridge. They, they just started to go up, so we're just waiting for them to go all the way up so that we can uh, keep going. So keep we're going already ahead. almost almost to where we need to go. Uh, yeah, we're almost there. I'd say another maybe 15 minutes, and we'll be out uh, we'll be out past Tarpon Bend where Come you guys here. usually film. Roger that. Recently, I was here uh, with Mrs. Montaner and my daughter, uh, ironically, for a YouTuber event for a set of twins and my daughter, Alyssa, who's 13, had to, to go to the event. And let's just, let's just say I was, uh, I was pretty intrigued. Um, they had it at a nightclub and my daughter's 13. And then they did a show about it and it's, it was pretty cool to watch. Four lot of the police there. Caution, Andrews is closing. Caution. Uh oh, I hear some. And here's some of the boats that we see here. The gondolas that are for hire on the new river. All right, this is this is where it gets as tight as we're gonna get, right? Yeah, pretty much. This is uh between Andrews and Third. Sometimes with the yachts out here, it, get, it gets gets a little hairy. This is not a this is not really bad for us because this is pretty much a straight shot. Now, in my in my on my channel, guys, I did a, a series in Dubai, and I did. Uh, an actual tour similar to this on a yacht in Dubai. And one of the impressive things about Dubai is that they have probably some of the largest buildings in the world and it's very, very pretty to see that. Just waiting for Third Avenue. Just this is uh this is our last one. This will be the last bridge that we got to go through. Last bridge, yeah. This seems like a tight turn here too. Uh, yeah, after after uh, after this this uh, bridge, there's a little bit of a tight turn. Some people out here refer refer to it as a danger corner. Danger uh, corner? Yeah, just cause like, I guess uh, when the tide's going out. I mean, especially with Jungle Queen back when I used to run it. Um, you know that boat when we're coming around that corner, we kind of need the entire bend. Um, just cause that boat. Got yeah, it. The, the sterns tend to swing a lot, kind of like drifting around the corner. And, um, you know, if there's a boat in the way, you kind of have to come to a stop and let them go by it before you can continue ahead. We, we, we have a little bit more control. We can kind of get through it, you know, regardless. But, but yeah, it's just a blind corner and, you know, it could, could be, be very hairy with the tide. 
This is the last bridge, guys. Downtown, Fort Lauderdale. Thanks for the first day, Miller. That for a view. I'm Roger. telling you. Um, so grateful for Courtney and his team to, to allow me to film this, guys. This is absolutely awesome, to say the least. We got some other tugs there, guys. As we continue here, here is the Carry B. Yep. And uh, the Carry B is. So the Carry B will take visitors and people in Miami, I'm sorry, in Fort Lauderdale. Yeah to go visit the new river and how far do they go out? So, so they don't go up the river, this is as far as they go. They, they do more ICW tours, but yeah. it's a really nice boat. I used to work there as well. They're, 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 uh, they're really cool over there. KRB, Jungle Queen, they're, they're all great, man. Awesome. And now they know if they need an option to tow their yacht over here, they can call the Cape Ann. Cape Ann towing. Cape Ann, guys. All right. Um, so this is the tunnel, actually, that we're going over right now. The this Federal is Federal Highway Tunnel. Oh, here in Fort this Lauderdale. this is it. Yeah, this is it. We're going right over it right now. Oh, so that cars is. Cars are going right underneath us. Guys, there's cars right under us right now. There's a tunnel, and uh, you know they, they they have the Miami Tunnel now over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which, Government cut. Yes, which was a big debate for many years, oh, but they yeah. did it and. All right, guys. So yeah, we're getting close to where that. I usually film. And um, great here, uh, place here to have some food on the river for the boat house at the riverside. Oh boy, we got we got a tight turn coming on right now. Super super tight. You you feel him working that? You you see in the over spray? It's uh. Guys, there's about maybe 10 to 15 feet along this side here. No room for error, to say the least. All right, this is this is the danger bend, right? No, we already passed that. That oh. was uh, where we passed the tug back there. It's, okay. It's not really danger bend, sort of say. It's just some people call it that. I mean, it's definitely by no means any you know, by no means close to the tightest spot on the river, for sure. Cool. But we're, we're uh, another one, uh, two turns, and we'll be out at Tarpon Bend, where you guys normally film. It's unreal, the real estate that's on this river. Oh yeah, man. A lot it of is, money. It's unreal. A lot of money. That yeah. house across from where you guys film, I'll point it out, uh, used to belong to Wayne Heisinga. Yes. Over by Marker 12. Um, and man, when I used to run John Queen, he, he used to come out, he'd be out there with his wife waving at us, saying, having a sign saying hello, Jungle Queen. And he was an awesome guy, man. Well, that's big why- Big for this city. Yes, he was big huge, right? City. And well known over here. Yeah, real big. That is awesome, guys. Oh boy, we got a nice turn now.
Look at this uh, dock that's being made and seawall. We have a, a yacht on the side giving the right away to the tugs. Estamos casi a ventral. Letting Daniel know that we're about to come in. All right, so this is where we're, we're filming out of. Yep, yep. Uh, so we're now coming up on Market 12. And uh, yeah, you guys, you guys film out of that park over yeah. there on the uh, northwest side. Yes. I just realized, I said, Wayne Heizinga's Market 12. It's Marker 11. Yeah. It's the one across. Yeah, and, and that's actually the shot that we have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there's uh, a new, uh, obviously new owners. and Right, yeah. And they're always enjoying the property yeah. Oh, as well. Oh yeah, big time, big time. Davey Bridge to maintenance, I got an opening. So have you still heard Courtney on the radio? Uh, yeah, I heard him. I think they were outbound, so I, I don't think we're gonna pass them. But they, they, they were coming out in front of us. They had also, uh, now is there other shifts that you have to do after these these, uh, these two jobs? Yeah, it sounds, uh, John, it sounded like John said there was a couple more jobs for the day, but you know, you never know. Sometimes you come in for one job and you're here, you know, and you know, the jobs start stacking up, so. So it fluctuates. This time of year we're pretty busy, so we'll, we'll, we'll probably have a pretty good day today as far as work goes. Wow, dude, this is it. Hey guys, does that house look familiar? It does, right? That looks familiar! <laughs> wow, this is awesome, dude. This is, this is awesome. A little different This is what I film you guys working all the time. So this is, right now this for me is huge, guys. Wow, this is awesome. Let me go around here so you guys can see a different shot. And the turning, guys. What a... Absolutely wild. And that's Wayne Heisinger's house there that's to your Wayne right. That's Wayne Heisinger's old house, yeah. Yeah, wow. What was this? Is Absolutely crazy, guys. And this is, uh, I think, the chi uh, CEO of the Seminole Hard Rock. Uh, that's where he lives. That might even be him. And guys, absolutely awesome. It's, it's come full circle, guys. Absolutely full circle. And here's Wayne Heisinger's house. And the turn. So wild, guys. Can't see. Hands are on my I just did a salute to Daniel. Thank him for his hard work. Smash a like for Daniel. He's done a, a, a hard, a hard job for us. And, and he's helped us uh, grow the channel significantly. Dude, I just now, that's it. That's it. It came full circle for me right now. <laughs> because now that's it, like, right. right here, that's it. We're almost to where we gotta get them out. And they, what do you, at what point do you turn them? Uh, so we normally, normally most yachts will drop them just past marker nine and 10 up here, another couple hundred yards in front of us. Some of them ask, them, ask us to take them out to the port, but for the most part, we just drop out here. Uh, this is it, man. 
Stay in the light. What would you tell you? What would you say to somebody says, he gets paid to do that? <laughs> he's having that much fun, he's getting yeah. paid to do that? Yeah, dude, it's the best office in the world, man. Uh, you listen, best you ain't lying. All right, we got one of the mates back here, guys. And they are done. So did they say we're gonna drop him off uh, now? Or? Uh, he's trying to get him on the radio now, and, and find know, out where we'll, we'll let he'll let us know. Yeah. Hey, Hi. man. Boss. I don't think he he heard yeah. you. And guys, recently I just did a video on the Vandal, which is uh, an aluminum hull catamaran boat that I did a sea trial on, and I would encourage you to watch that video. Hey, Bart, you got me on this one? It's hey, the man. video that inspired oh, yeah. this one. Hey, where would you like me to drop in? Right here, or are you going to take it away? Take your picture, this one. All right, so here, how do you want to pay for it? Better come to me, Mark. I'm sorry, say again? Did you say about paperwork? Yeah, how do you want to do paperwork? Do you want to come around to the store and take care of it? Or, uh, just kind of Yeah, you know what? I want, they just ran down there. Uh, you can give him the, uh, he'll give me his card. Alright. Drop the, uh, we'll drop the studs and I'll swing around there. I've got the machine up here on the bow. <laughs> okay. Whenever you're ready, you can drop the studs. Ready? Dropping on the stern. The credit card and I'll go back to the stern. Good job. Have a good one, guys. Yep. Clear on the stern. Clear on the stern. That had to be a top 10 experience in Alfred Montaner's oh, I'm life. I'm glad you enjoyed it, man. Glad man, you enjoyed listen, it. Listen, I am so thankful that you guys were able to, to let my awesome. audience see that. Glad so, you were able to come out with us, man. Big shout out to, uh, to Courtney and, and everybody in the team and Chris and, all, and, and John for, for what you guys did. Right, I, right. That was awesome. If they wanted to get information, where do they got to go? Like if they wanted, say somebody's seen that and they're going to come to, to the, the New River, how do they get in contact with you guys? Um, you can uh, just search up Cape Ann Towing on Google, and I think we even have uh, Instagram, and uh, I believe we have a YouTube too. Every once in a while, uh, okay. Boss will put up some cool videos of us going up and down the river, and yeah, definitely check it out, man. Cape Ann Towing, we're all over the place. Guys, Alfred Monta, I, you know, I'm always behind the camera, right? <laughs> I want to thank you guys for watching this amazing video. Um, crazy day, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to smash that like, and you're you're an amazing captain. You thank did a great you, thank job, Ozzy. Appreciate it, guys. Glad we're out of here. You. Alfred Montaner making a scene as always, and you know, as Alfred Montaner always does, we end on the American flag. We're out of here. And she's gone. All right, guys. So this is this is the part of the video that I didn't really want to show you guys because I don't like I don't like showing this off. This is, this is something I, I'm not going to be proud of this, guys. Hey, um, this is way too much stress for me to be operating these tugs, guys. Um, regrettably, I'm going to have to quit on my first day. <laughs> I can't operate a tug and do that. Uh, is, is that, that what I was going to do? Is that, was that going to be my job or no? Were we hiring him to run the boats? What was I going to do? What, was that, what were you guys thinking of me doing? <laughs> What? What? Why are you laughing? Usually the first day is whether we uh, if you were breaking yourself. Yeah, no, you guys. Don't tell me I was going to do something we were, else. We, we were just getting you to scrub the decks over here. Scrub the decks? <laughs> oh. That's it. <laughs> hey. hey, get me off of these boats. I'm going on an Uber right now. Listen, I'm not fired. I quit. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Scrub the decks, bro. I'm, I'm supposed to be the star here. Hey, go get yourself a Miami Fred County hat, luxuryribtenders.com. Check out some of my Chicho logos on these hook sunglasses. Out for Montana, guys. Wow, what an amazing thing. Smash that like on the way out. I'm out of here.